Bah, zo. Niet kijf, nee, bah, zo. Nun shall pass. Nun shall pass. I am the Black Knight. Undefeated. I have protected this bridge for decades. And none shall pass without a fight to the death. Who stands before me so bold to assume that they can best the Black Knight? I should have thought that it was ye. I don't suppose you remember who I am. Well, I've been through a few changes as of late, shall we say. A few dramatic changes. Because of you and your little coterie of friends. I suppose that you're hailing from Avalon, is it? Ah, yes. The Isle of the Sun. Oh, I know it well. You should know that the company you keep is um, not good. You see, I used to be on Avalon years and years ago. Hmm? A scullery boy, no less. Poorly treated. Let's just say that though these scars may be flesh wounds, the only real scars that remained were those inflicted upon my heart and soul. Those inflicted by Arthur and Uther Pendragon. Oh, I know all about you. Your knights of the round table. Holy men. Warriors of God. You want to build a new Jerusalem. Where, Arthur, and your colleagues. I'll tell you a little story about me. Yes. I was a scullery boy, a cleaner, in your castle, on Avalon, Camelot, where I would work around, picking up scraps, dealing with things like that, eating where I could, of course. Many a night I dined on rats, stale bread, fifteen-day-old cabbage, not even good enough for the dogs, was it, Arthur? You old bastard. Well, I decided, and you have to hear this to believe it, Arthur, I decided to change things up a little bit. Having seen examples of exuberant wealth versus devastating poverty, I left and decided to make a name for myself on my own. I became a hedge knight. Not like you, anointed knights. You ones at the round table. Where I'm from, knights don't have tables. We dine on the road, under the moon, protected by trees. 
a hedge knight, a freelancer, a mercenary, if you like. No master but that of coin. Although there's not much of that going around with you lot prancing about on your fine ponies, solving mysteries and defeating enemies. Or did you survive that battle with Mordred? I can't remember, Arthur. Hmm. Well, anyway, I killed me a buck. See, and I attached it to my helm. Yes, my steel is black, obsidian in the colour. Like the colour of my heart, after being ripped out untimely from my mother, cast aside under a table, and brought up as a cur in your service. And so I made a name for myself, see. I worked the usual routes, ended up down the Cornish way, spoke to those crazy fellows. Mm. They're all bloody pirates down there. Aye, smugglers and the like. Well, I spoke with them, learned a bit of their tongue, see. Then moved back up the coast, all the way through Mercia. And eventually, eventually, made my way back to Bredain. That's what we call it there in Wales, you see. Well, anyway, made my home again. Made a name for myself as a hedge knight, see. That's right, yeah. Worked my way around, and then I got this cheeky gig guarding this bridge here, see. That's right, guarding this here bridge that ye want to cross. Well, like I said at the start of our wonderful conversation, none shall pass. You see, what you kings don't realise, what you people ordained don't realise, the chosen don't realise, is that there is no law, there are no rules, and there is no destiny. That is chaos. Pure, unadulterated chaos. Power be to the one who learns to control their chaos, manifest it in ways that they can see, touch and feel. Imagine if you could just take anything that you wanted, but you can't because you were given it all. Well now, I suppose you're thinking that I'm going to kill you all. And then I suppose part of you thinking, well, it's just one man, he can't defeat us, like. Well, that may be true, but I tell ye now that I have never been defeated, and I cannot die. There is no way on the green, green grass of Wales that I will join with you in your noble quest, whatever it may be. In fact, I think ye don't even know what your quest is. You trapes about clip-clopping on ponies from A to B, never really finding your destiny, because you don't have one. Chaos, Arthur. Pendragon, you never knew. Chaos is the answer. Order is to be crushed under the boot of chaos, and I am here as testament to that fact. I cannot be slain, I cannot be defeated. Here I remain, guarding this bridge. And if ye want to cross, ye will have to bleed, bleed your own blood at my blade. So ask yourself, Pen Dragon. Or whatever in Pradain they call ye now. Is your quest worth your life? I fear. I know. Do you aren't ready to die? I know. That you don't want to die. But let me tell you a little secret. Arthur and his party. You will all die, whether that be tonight, on this here bridge, is up to you, for although owned by coin and guarded by none, commanded by few, loved by some, 
if ye fight me and ye win, ye shall pass. However, I will not attack ye if ye choose to go a different way. However, I will say that this is the only way to your objective. I admire your strength of character to ask me to join as you, perhaps to change things. But you're seriously misguided and misguided if you think that I would join you. I'll put it down to your naivety. I'll put it down to you never having to struggle in your life, never having to work for anything. Never having to starve, never having to survive, never having to fight for the sake of fighting, for the sake of yourself rather than what you believe. Yes, it's noble that you can pick up a banner and fight for it, but what if you have no banner? Then it's just a fight. Maybe I have gone mad so long at this bridge. So lonely, too. And ye guard, the funny thing is, there is no small mercy in your life. There is no passion. Just strife. I did not know. You have among your coterie one who, upon my time in Avalon, upon my time in the court, was kind to me. A little show me small mercy so and small mercies against the great evil they make a difference they make a difference to a man as you have the good lady with you I should have the good mind to let ye pass, but no Pendragon, no Arthur, should our paths cross again, I will kill ye.